Okay, when you click the Zoom link, um, the Zoom application will begin to launch on your computer. Usually you'll see a little window like this open up. So make sure you join with computer audio. We're gonna hit this blue button right here. And what happens is this is the actual Zoom screen. Sometimes it is not in its maximized position. So whether you have a PC or a Mac, you're gonna to wanna to maximize this window. So I'm on a PC, that's the button I'm gonna click. Now we get into your basic Zoom functions. Bottom left-hand corner, we have the microphone and the camera. Right now, my camera is off. No one can see me. If I click the camera icon, you'll be able to see me in my camera there. When I click the microphone, you will be able to hear me. But for the uh, during the presentation, let's leave the microphone muted, and you can choose to leave your camera off. Please bear in mind that we will be recording these sessions, so if you do not want your image to appear on the video or your voice to be heard, Always make sure to leave these two in the off position the entire time. Next up, we're going to click this participants list. When you click that, uh, it should open up a little pane on the right-hand side here. These are going to be all the participants that are in the Zoom session at any given time. This is also where you will be able to rename yourself. As you hover over your name, which will usually appear at the top of the list, you can click the More button. So as I click More, this little Rename button popped up. And what we like to do is type in your name, and we like to see where you are from. That's kind of a nice way to share all of our different locations. Next up, we're going to show you the chat box. You see this button here at the very bottom? This, if you click chat, it will open up the chat interface window. This is where you can type questions to the entire group, and this is for everyone to see. Also, if you have a question for the speaker, we will ask that you type it here in this chat box location. We like to save the questions until the end of the presentation and ask them all after the presenter has completed their talk. Now, the other function here is under reactions. You see this little reactions button here? If you click reactions here at the bottom, there will be a raise hand option. You see it right here? So pay attention to my name on the far right top of the participants list. When I click this raise hand button, you'll see a little hand is raised. That will indicate to the Zoom host that you do have a question. Again, we'd like to save all the questions until the presenter has usually completed their talk, and we will ask them at the very end. Once your question is answered, you can go into reactions again and lower your hand, or the Zoom host can lower it for you. Now, um, please keep in mind uh, this chat box will also give instructions. Sometimes it will include uh, materials or other links that the uh, presenter may want to share with the group. The final thing I advise is look at the top right hand corner here where it says view. I recommend that you click it and click speaker view. When you click speaker view, this will give you the best viewing experience because it will always highlight the presenter's zoom camera and you don't have to see all of the little squares. But if you wanted to see the other people, you can leave it in gallery view and you can see everybody with their cameras on. I hope this helps with some basic Zoom functions.